Hi everybody, welcome back to the shop. Appreciate you stopping by. Well, today we're doing some real work. Um, we're going to discuss what these holes are in your uh, in your instrument, and we're going to talk about that guy right over there, 3D printer. Let me get set up. Let's go. Alrighty. Today we're going to talk about valve alignment. When we're talking about valve alignment, we're talking about the rubber or the felt washer that's on top of the piston and the felt or the cork and felt washers that are inside one when it goes down the other when it comes up and what we're relating that to is that when you push the valve down it should line up it should not go past and it should not stop short. Notice that this guy goes too far. And when it comes back up, once I screw the cap in the right spot, until I was working on this beforehand, it doesn't line up right. It's, it's too exposed. And when you're closing down, it goes too far. Now, it goes, this is not the right finger button. And that's why it's important to have the right finger button for your instrument. When the upstroke, if the felt is not right, then the ports will not line up in the right spot. Notice now that I believe it should be getting a little bit closer. But of course, you can't play your instrument with the valve cap all but off. But that's what happens. As you play, uh oh, I'm hung up. As you play, each combination puts the air through a different set of tubes, right? And that's why it changes notes or combination notes. Traditionally, you have felts in your instrument. Today, what we're going to do is a, um, I'm doing a service that is called the proper valve alignment. And what proper valve alignment does is, is it makes the piston on the upstroke be precise and on the downstroke also be precise without using corks. As corks are exposed, corks and felts are exposed to oils and saliva and all of that sort of thing, the relationship changes. Um, the felt compresses, the cork wears out and chips away. There are several companies that we've seen that uh, make custom, they do this custom service. And so I was able to uh, learn about this and start offering it as well. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to make a special discs. And these special discs are very thin and we're also going to use an o-ring um, there was some noise going on behind me and it was printing a, a out um, let's do another one hold on just a sec so this is going to fire off and do another one let's watch now friends what we do to get this is we use one of two tools. This is an old school. This is a, called a valve mirror. This is uh, no light or anything. So you use what light that you have and you go in and you look at the other pistons. In this particular case, I'm looking at number three. And what I'm looking at internally is the same thing that I showed you externally with using this. The other tool that I like to use is this has got a light rod on it and so it lights it up and I don't have to worry about using an overhead light. Once I have my measurements then I know what the type of ring that I'm using and it, they're very consistent. So all I have left to do is to make the disc washer. 
So I use, I go inside to my laptop and I input the information and I design the piece and then I put it on a thing and I put it out here. I bring it back to the printer and I print it out. And so once that's done, we have the relationship that what we, of what we want. So we're going to take our piston and we're going to take this old nasty felt out of it. And we're going to put down our disc, followed by the O-ring. Those will slide all the way down. And now, it looks just like this. And it's at the proper thickness and will be that way forever. Now, these rubber washers are 25, 26 years old, so I'm going to replace them. Now, what we can do is we can just leave this, once we get the rubber out of it, or the felt, we can do the same operation on the bottom side. Oops, of the finger button. And I just input all my information. And when I drop it back in, I give it a tighten. Notice that my, but it's a light and positive touch. And that's what we like. Friends, it's amazing what we can do nowadays. We use traditions, but we also use science and the polymers that are, that are given to us. Uh, we have 3D technology that's absolutely amazing um, to learn about and to work with. And it's just another way that we can make parts for uh, horns that no longer have parts available. Um, I have another project that I'm going to do I'm going to be working on a guitar and I'm going to be making some spacers for it. Um, I'll show you how I do that as well. So um, if this is a service that uh, you would be interested in having done on your instrument, um, get in touch with me. This is something that we can totally do. Um, we make lists of everything and uh, keep a running record. So this is uh, specialty work that, that we're constantly doing for folks and spreading the word um, i hope you learned something about the valve alignment and porting uh, today i hope that you found this video helpful uh, thanks for watching and uh, please like subscribe and ring the bell thanks everybody i'll see you next time